Yeah. I really hate having to record something more than once. Like, I don't know, I was just... I was just recording this a second ago, like, the sound for this, and, uh... And then the phone rang, and I had to go answer it, so... I'll have to restart this. Yeah, whatever, I was only like a minute into it, but still. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna learn an actual useful song this time. But I'll tell you what it does after we get it. They, they kind of tell you what it does, but they do it in like the most metaphorical way possible. So. Oh yeah, almost every hole in this game is either a perfect circle or a perfect square. Like that. I think most of the square ones are like the tombstone, under the tombstone. There's only like three, There's only, only like three tombs you can actually go into, but... I scream at my phones lying around. Yeah. The door opens after you kill those keys. Which is a Zelda term for bats. They can't be normal, I call them bats. Alright. These guys are incredibly scary. You can't hurt them with your slingshot or anything like that. You have to use your sword, but you don't want to get close to them. Because they'll do that. They like this creepy screaming sound. But. And I'm not showing you what happens when they get you. They stun you like that, and they slowly and creepily walk up to you. And they jump on your back and rape you. Until you knock it off somehow. Alright. Which is a song. Right down up, right down up. There's basically like two sets of songs. The second set of songs like warps you places. And I was, I, I was doing that way too fast there. And the first set of songs are like just do random things like, but they all, the, but the first set of songs, they always follow this pattern where they play the same three notes twice in a row. Not to the back, there's one that doesn't. Hold on, let me think of it. Hold on. But never mind, no, they all do. Alright, just to save time, because this is a lot easier, you can just, just go through that little toxic lava thing in the middle. Whatever. So, yeah. Alright, so yeah. Basically, the song we just got, it can. Yeah, that's a, that's a hell, which is a ghost, but I don't want to fight it. Well, the song we just learned, it uh, changes it from night to day and day to night or whatever. So, like, it's pretty useful because there's a lot of things that only happen at night or only happen at day, like. Alright, see that? That lady over there, in, in that pen, or whatever. You have to find all the chickens in the village here and put them in the pen. Because you got something incredibly useful out of it. So that's what most of this video has been doing. So I figured, I figured, well, I don't know why I did that, but. Now the chickens over here are the ones that are incredibly annoying to get. Because basically getting over here is the annoying part. Ugh. Just get it and throw it over the fence or something. Now, the reason I didn't just like jump down because like, I might accidentally fall into that hole and I don't like reset the place when I get back out. Ah, bump the mic there. I don't know if that made a sound. I don't know. I have a feeling this might be the one video where it doesn't make an annoying pixelated blur over the entire screen. Oh. There's a throw them into the pen. Now, I don't know, I was a little scared there of like, wait, did I get stuck on the lady? Now, this lady's incredibly stupid choosing her profession. 
Actually, she's allergic to these chickens, which she explains later, and she's like a chicken farmer who's allergic to them. Well, actually, no. In Zelda, they're called cuc cuckoos or something like that. Cuckoos, cuckoos, or whatever. Um. I was about to take it over there, but I remember there's another one you have to fly to. Ah, oh, there you go. Pizza, good boy. Blech. Oh, that no, was kind of bad. Uh, chickens are actually pretty fun, fun to mess with, because actually if you keep hitting them with your sword a lot, eventually they get really mad and summon army of chickens to kill you. And those of you who haven't played this game before, you will know that. Almost everyone who's played this game will know that. Everyone's like stupid enough to go and kill a chicken. <sighs> Uh, this one's less obvious. It's in this box. Which actually, I've never been really that good at opening those boxes. It's, it did like time it perfectly. Or it was, ah, oh, that was, that was pretty bad. Um. Yeah. So the thing I'll say about the like, army of chickens, I'm not gonna demonstrate that because quite surprisingly, it's. A, Incredibly deadly. I don't know why I was doing that. It was fun. <laughs> and also, chickens are blind too. Oh, right, how far is it take me? Now I missed one. I go talk to her like this, but oh, I got all of them. Talk to her. Yeah, there's one left. And I almost forgot about it. Which is. Actually, the first, this one here is like the most obvious one. It's like up there. But then again, since I started from near the graveyard, I wouldn't have seen this one. I don't know this would be like the first one I get, but when I came into the town it was nighttime. Which actually worked to my advantage, because the tomb I stole the shield from, you can't go into it during the daytime or some stupid kid running around the gra graveyard yells at you. Because, oh, I'll tell the gravedigger guy on you, even though at nighttime the gravedigger guy is out there, and you can steal it and he won't care. Like, yeah, okay. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Alright, empty bottle. These are probably one of the most useful items in the game because you can put stuff in them like potions and whatnot. And berries, which I haven't. Not like. Not even good. Similar though. Like what the fairies do is they revive you after you're dead. Like if you die, it still revives you whether or not you have it equipped. Which becomes an incredibly useful item later in the game. All right. This is what we needed the letter for. This is Dagos to enter my orders to save Hyrule. Ha 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 ha. What kind of funny games are princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Wa ha 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 ha. I don't see how slamming your spear on the ground opens it. I don't know why I'm still holding out the letter either. Alright, the perilous guy does not see the proper shield on my back already. I already stole one from the tomb. Yeah, so if you... Basically, stealing the shield is a good way to save money. Otherwise, you have to pay either... <sighs> ah, 80 rupees or... 40 to get it. Basically, he's saying, yeah, go buy me a stupid mask so I can sh give it to my children or something like that. Hmm, they didn't end that dialogue with a square. They usually end it. They did it with a arrow, like he's going to say something else, but he didn't. Guess that's life for ya. 
These spiders are really annoying. I'm like always oh, getting hit by these things. I'm fooling around with this. I'm... Ow. Ow. Yeah, behind that little weird wall is a gold stone that you don't care about getting. I take this one a little more methodically. And all I get is fruity from it, of course. Alright, that's all time I have. See ya.